one more week of this left. One more week of this. You know, I I was just trying to tell myself, like, you know, I, I never fully bought in on this team. So I can only be so disappointed. But... <laughs> What the hell was that first half of football? That was the starters that like, like I mean, well, why am I going to re re reiterate the obvious? Like, it's just, th th this team is done. This team is done. Ev everyone could get fired. Um, I think one of the most telling things is what I texted a friend tonight. I said, um, tell me I'm wrong here. Jake Elliott is the best player on this football team. And you out there, you out there try and tell me that the Philadelphia Eagles kicker is not the best player on the entire football. Oh my God. Am I seriously? You tell me who is disappointed less and come through the most more than Jake Elliott. Tell me who is it? Who is it? Besides Jake Kelly, who is it? Oh my god, a team that was 10 and 1? Their best player is the kicker? Ten and one. You know, it's just like damn! I could do without the teasing! Even though I didn't fully buy in on this team, because I consistently told you I said this team always looked bad as much as they looked good if not more this just proves that you can be a suck ass team and accidentally get to 10 and 1 that is all this eagle season proved oh we'll get it right by next week we'll get it right by this shut up and hey no, I, I, I'm the number one self-admitted Carson Wentz hater who I said, it doesn't matter who you have on your team. You're not going to lead the league in interceptions and blah, blah, blah. Well, where's that with Jalen Hurts? He's every bit as bad as Carson Wentz ever was on this team. Every bit as bad. And if you deny that, you're just completely blinded. I want to love Jalen Hurts. I want him to be the truth. But he just isn't. He is regressing. He has regressed. He has shown that with just a game where just prove, just prove. I don't care if AJ's out. I don't care if Devontae's out. Just prove you can overcome and get it done. He's just not that guy. <sighs> and that is the only thing that's so frustrating. We're so like, I just want to see a heartbeat from this team. I need... Cadavers! Right from right from the start! Cadavers! Like did Tyrod Taylor had one hand and he clowned you guys! He was fumbling snaps, he could barely talk. He still clowned you! And this defensive line that has consistently sucked ass comparative to what they were last season. My God, how much draft capital, how much salary cap space that we got devoted to this defensive line and the amount of pressure they have gotten all season long is a disgrace! Like, I don't know. I wasn't getting mad about this team, but just today, it just, it just snapped where I'm just like, my God, you guys suck! Thank God the Dallas Cowboys won the NFC East and Dallas Cowboys fans pile it in! Pile it in! All us Eagles fans were the ones sitting three game lead. Ha ha ha! Three game lead in the NFC East. We ain't gonna choke that. Ugh! Choked away a three-game lead in the NFC East to the Cowboys. <laughs> Again.
I, <laughs> I, I wasn't getting upset till I saw just that, that this, this, this team has just given up and I'm just like, I'm like, Oh, Oh, great. It, back to grounds, gr ground zero, back to nothing, back to, back to the drawing board. Like that's when I fully realized today. I'm like, Oh shit. They are going to have to get rid of Sirianni. They are going to have to get rid of all the coordinators. Like, I mean, Sirianni will probably survive to another year, but, but man, it's just like the, 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 they're in playing for him. They don't want to play for him. Unless by some magic beyond Houdini appears in the playoffs and this team all of a sudden gets it done. <laughs> I just feel like I just wasted so much time. Like, granted, I, I, I love the live shows I did with you guys. If, if, if that's anything, if, if you want to watch how much fun I had with the, the Eagles team this year, watch my live shows because I, I, I enjoyed the correspondence I had with the fans that came out, the fans of mine that came out and just, you know, talked about like finances and, and Boogie 2988 and just whatever the hell else came up. I had more fun talking about subjects peripheral to football. Then actually talking about football this year. That's how bad the Eagles were. An 11 win team. <laughs> does, that, does that even sound right? Like what you saw take to the field today? Does, could you say the straight face? That's a team that won 11 professional NFL football games in a season. <laughs> boy, boy, am I ever not going to get my hopes up again on this team. Jeez. God damn. It just, I just. If anything, I, I'm grateful that I have like a wife and kids now because that has just like diverted so much of my attention and just effort and just uh, just being such a just a complete sycophant of football that I used to be because I, I'm glad I'm glad that I have that diversion in my life now. I'm glad I'm glad I am just not as diehard as I used to be about football because, man, I I'd, I'd, you might have been seeing girl fiend upload a video saying like, oh. Archfiend passed away tonight. He died. He died when <laughs> he died at halftime. Oh my God. Just utter trash. Utter, utter, just utter trash. And again, I, I, I don't care. I don't care who wasn't there. This, this was the Giants and Tyrod Taylor. Come on. Anyway, I'm sure, I'm sure the Philadelphia Eagles are going to show up and do a lot of damage in the playoffs. Like, like I, 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 what are they playing? I, like I, 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 I just zoned out. I'm like, I guess they're playing Tampa. Whatever. Who cares? Or who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Oh, they already beat Tampa. Shut up. Anyway, um, congrats, congrats to the Dallas Cowboys because honestly, they at least deserve to have a home game in the playoffs. The Eagles don't. The Eagles don't. They didn't deserve that chance. And people saying like, oh, the Eagles didn't have anything to fight for. The, 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 the Redacteds had the had the the lead in the game almost all the way up to halftime. So the Eagles had everything to play for. Anyway, um, I don't know, man. I just I was totally fine with this season until today, until today, where I just realized I'm like, wow. It is completely blow up the entire effing building and rebuild. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't truly realize that till today where I'm just like, wow, this team is not playing with the current structure that they are built upon. Jesus Christ. God, I did. I just, I didn't realize it was that effing bad until today. Anyway, congrats Dallas Cowboys sound off in the comments again. Hey, People like me talk shit against the Dallas Cowboys all year. I can take it back. Go ahead. Sound off in the comments. Sound off. Tell me who won the NFC East because it sure as hell wasn't the Philadelphia Eagles. It sure as hell wasn't the Philadelphia Eagles. And I ain't going to sit here. I ain't going to sit here and be like, oh, well, Dallas Cowboys are not going to get busy. I ain't going to say anything about who they're not going to get <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry. This makes me choke thinking that the... <coughs> Dallas Cowboys going to advance in the playoffs and my team isn't. Anyway, um, I got to go, guys. I got to finish with bath time with the kids. Just, oh, Jesus. I just... <sighs>
I got <laughs> this team was 10 and 1. <laughs> 10 and 10 and 1. How many? <laughs> I, can't... I can't even comprehend that thought. That is all.